Hey everyone, Maxon here. Welcome to the 26th video of my Civilization 5 Brave New World Let's Play, playing as the Netherlands Civilization. So in the previous video, we've started to really hammer Madrid. It may go down in this video, I'm certainly hoping so anyway. Uh, in between videos, I readjusted the position of some of my ships and actually upgraded one of my caravels to an ironclad. I've also done uh, a few trades as well, uh, nothing much to write home about, but uh, I sold my iron to Gandhi to earn a bit more gold per turn, as much as he'd take off me, and also I sold a couple more pieces of, of uh, aluminium to England, as as much as they would take off me as well. Um, before I end the turn, I think, well in the last video I couldn't figure out where Portugal was, I couldn't see those borders for some reason. I'm actually going to swap embassies with them, I think, if uh, they'll allow it. Uh, so, embassy swap. Okay. Now, will she... She prepared to give me that. She wants coal for it. I'll give you one coal. Getting her open borders will mean that my culture is... Uh, Spreads to her a bit quicker. I get a 25% bonus by doing that. Uh, so where's Portugal on here? There, for open borders. I want one. I think I want open borders for England as well. Uh, problem is, I'm gonna have to give her my embassy to do that, so she knows where my capital is. I think it's probably worthwhile at this stage now, though. Let's just trade that. Certainly. Uh, how much for your open on. borders? That's cheaper, isn't it? Yeah, I'll do that. So it's as uh, cheap as it can be, I think. Set. Right, so I should get more culture pressure with her as well now. It may, it's actually possible I may be able to win a culture victory before a conquest victory. Something I haven't really realised before is that my sea beggars, I'm going to have to spend or have money to upgrade them to, to uh, destroyers. That's going to take a while. Taking down Venice is going to take me a while. Um... I think after I've got my Writer's Guild up, it might become apparent how good of a chance I've got of winning a culture victory. If I can wipe out Spain, it becomes a heck of a lot easier to win a culture victory. But, um, yeah, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, right. They've got a caravel in Madrid, but they weren't able to destroy that ironclad brilliant, which is brilliant for me. Uh, people with the pointy sticks. Wow, Elizabeth has over double us, and wow, Siam has quite a bit as well. Not sure how it figures that out, but um, it's not. Well, we've got that suggests that England's military was over twice as big as mine, but it's not saying that there, is it? So, who knows how that works? Uh, influence of Iffy nearly decayed. Um, so I'm going to have to give these guys money. Uh, I really can't afford money at the moment. I guess I'll give that. I was wondering why my gold has been up so much recently. It's because my golden age, isn't it? Mainly. And getting in those markets. I may have to do another golden age as soon as this one runs out, I think. Uh... Pearls to Maria ended and Dice Gandhi ended. Now she probably hasn't got any money Look anymore. Fierced. Oh, she has. Brilliant. Uh, is that my last days. copy of Pearls? It would be. It might be worthwhile selling her a luxury anyway, though. And Dice to Gandhi, wasn't it? He doesn't want that anymore. Yeah, I think I'll sell my pills to uh, Maria. I've got so many copies, and everyone might run out before I need the happiness from it anyway. Which I don't really at the moment. Oh, she's not giving me full price anymore anyway. If I do. Okay. Uh, right. So, Confucianish Confucianism uh, was not passed. Six votes for Venice, and arts funding was passed. 
everyone voted for that actually who voted towards it so that now means that getting great scientists and uh, engineers I think is more difficult and merchants but getting writers and artists and musicians is easier we get 33% bonus so that's going to increase the chance of uh, culture wins right this knight doesn't stand a chance down here uh, against two of those um, so I have open borders with uh, Madrid uh, Delhi don't I so I'll bring that back up there I've got a proposal to make I'll figure that out a bit later uh, amphitheater um, I think I'll make an opera house here I may want to make the hermitage which I'm going to need opera houses for and I'll probably make a factory. Uh, I can make a rose. Uh, this worker can come over to there. And that one come down here. Okay, this general can make his way over here. Uh, I've got some sea beggars which are going to be uh, nearly in range to attack Madrid in a bit. Let's come up to there. I uh, might want to move that one back I think. To there for now. I'll bring it back into my territory in a second. Uh, that ironclad I should bring back as well. This one I probably will attack with it this turn. So let's bring ironclad back to there. Um. To there, that can move to there. Where was that sea beggar? Um, this one wasn't it. Bring that to there. That can heal up. Probably move that to there so we can attack next turn. Um, that frigate can attack there. That's a worry. Them having a knight. There's quite a f decent force, actually, that they have around here now, Venice. Um, if I were to take Madrid, I might have enough land forces to fight them off. I'm not sure. Um, right, I can heal up. Uh, see, Beggar can make his way over here. Uh, Archaeologists can come down here. See, beggar can likewise come over here. Uh, back to there. Right, so I think I'll pillage more of his tiles. Might as well get the money from it. Okay. Do I have anything that I can attack uh, Madrid with this turn? Uh, that sea beggar? No, that's not going to be able to attack. Um, or that one? Yeah, I'm only going to have units to attack this turn at a damage. I think I've moved all my healthy sea beggars. I could attack my ironclad. If I attack my ironclad, though, they can't move the caravel out, which I'm not sure is good or bad, actually. Um, I can't keep it there because it gets shot by the city. Okay, I don't think I'm going to attack with this ironclad then. I'm going to move the frigate back to there. I'll move the ironclad back to there. And right, everything's out of range of that city now, so all the rest can go on. 
Oh, what's this turn, I believe? Okay. Right, so proposal. Uh, right, so arts fund is the only thing that's been passed so far. Right. World ideology. That's what I'm thinking of picking. Right, I'm just going to have a think about this. Okay, I've had a look through all of these proposals, and one which catches my eye possibly the most is uh, one that's newly available. That's International Games. If I was going to go for a tourism victory, that would be extremely helpful. It's just a case of, am I going to want to spend my production on that uh, in 25 turns time or not? If I am, then it means I'm going to be going full on head, heading towards a tourism victory rather than conquest victory. I may want to be making, uh, I don't know, sea beggars or whatever in 25 turns instead. So, I'm not sure if I should take it or not. I think what I might do is go for the pick that I was immediately thinking of going for. That's World Ideology. That is very good. It would give me extra delegates. I think I'd be able to get it through because uh, no one else has picked an ideology yet. Um, yeah, and uh, it would also increase pressure uh, for that ideology on other people's ideology at some point, I believe. And Venice might actually pick international games anyway, I think, because they want to... They could go for religion again, which they seem to have done the last couple of times. Yeah, I think I'll risk going for world ideology and hope Venice picks um, international games. Right. Commit proposal. And, yeah, right, so that's uh, end of turn. Okay, so he's annoyed at uh, his proposal being defeated last time round. Spain's starting to get some units over here. Okay. So, World Congress, Cultural Heritage Sites he went for, which is World Wonder. So, that's not great. Um, I'm probably going to have a ton of World Wonders by the time of, uh, that comes around, though, so it will be helpful. Hmm, I may have made a mistake there. Maybe I should have gone for International Games. I guess we'll find out in a bit. Uh, so, Golden Age ended. Uh... That's funding and a sea beggar got a promotion. Just built one. Okay. Uh, that can go there. Uh, that, I think I want to get a riverside farm up there. Uh, that's built a road. Now, do I. I think I should complete this road and delay that a turn. Right. Stay there. That's a pain. And they brought the caravel out as well. Um, right. So my frigate. Let's attack that caravel. Um. Should I? What should I do here? I need a sea beggar to take that. So I'll attack that there, and let's attack with that one. Okay, we're taking it. Blocks things up here even more. Right. So I need to attack. Madrid now with, with as much as I can. I may be able to take it this turn. Um, guess we'll see now. So the Sea Beggar, one, two, three. That Sea Beggar, one, two, three, four, five. Could potentially take your attack. Uh, right. Admiral's in range. I should turn off this city screen as well, anyway. I've had this on for ages. Okay, and it's got two movement left. Um, it's just that sea beggar. I think I have got a good chance of uh, taking the city this turn. Okay, as long as I'm careful with my movement. 
um, the sea beggar. One, two, three. Uh, one there. And I'd have two movement left of that one as well. Okay. Shall I swap it around with that one? Uh, yeah. This is move one already, hasn't it? Right, I can actually take the city with that sea beggar. Um, should I? That's a question. Yeah, I think so. I can shoot that with my Gatling gun. The Great Wall won't count anymore once I've taken the city. Hopefully I have enough culture slots now to get all, all the great works from Madrid in. Guess we'll find out. I didn't actually take it, okay. Um, so where am I moving to? Uh, there? Yeah, that'll do. Let's use another damage to see back then, I think. So, one, two, three, attack the city. And uh, we've taken Madrid. Right, so 302 gold, five great works. Let's have a look at the city. We've got a ton of wonders. Colossus, Great Wall, Notre Dame, Oracle, Sistine Chapel, and Temple of Artemis. That's going to be great for me. Um, Notre Dame will help out happiness wise. And uh, Colossus, that's an extra trade route, isn't it? Um, more gold. Right, that's pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to pop it. Still plenty of happiness left. Okay, so what now? Right, so I've got to kill off the rest of these Spanish units. Venice's troops moved back into Almaty uh, out of my territory. Uh, I've got to position myself to probably attack Venice now. I'm worried that before they had uh, a thin to uh, they asked me if I was declaring war against them and I'm not sure that's run out yet so if I go declaring war now it could count as a backstab uh, which would affect my diplomatic relations with everyone I believe um, so that is a problem now uh, with this unit I'll move that to there and attack that that unit can um, that doesn't count as a range, does it? Probably need to move back on the city, I think. Just for safety reasons. Uh, move that to there. Probably need to keep my frigates around here in case the Spanish units come over as well. It's going to be a while before the city can't, can uh, bombard. Okay, so my... I'm not sure if my warmonger amount will have gone up already. Uh, probably next turn, I think. Right, so production. Uh, they've completed the museum. Right, I should move to my great works, uh, actually. Okay, so I'm sure it said five, but I can only see four in there, so maybe it moved something somewhere else, maybe, hopefully. Um, so, great writing. They only have two pieces of uh, great art, so... I should move all of these out because I'm not getting a bonus off any of these yet. So I'll move that to there. I've got a piece of music. I'll move that to there. And a piece of great writing. I shall move to Breda, is it? Okay. Tourism's gone up a heck of a lot. Right. So. Our production. Broadcast tower is now available. Um, what else could I go for? I think I'm quite tempted to make that here, but I'm not sure I will. Broadway would give me an extra writer, musician, which should be good for concert tours. What am I doing over here? I have no idea. I've got an extra trade route available now, actually. Uh, I think I'll make a cargo ship here then. Uh, production. 
No track. Am I still making these sea beggars up here? I guess so. I'll actually make an opera house, I think. Yeah. Um, and we got a bit of movement to do. Now, I think I'm just going to go straight for Venice. I may want to wipe out Venice completely, though. Um, not sure yet. I definitely want to wipe out Spain completely, I know that. Uh, that worker has finished the road. Let's get back to making some treading post or some marsh polders I can put down here actually. Let's bring that guy there. Let's bring that guy there. Uh, this knight. Come up here. Uh, sea beggar might as well stay in there to heal up. That can move to there. Okay, it's general. Can move to there. I need to be looking out for Venetian ships now, really. I've got another great general. I'm going to move that to Madrid. Okay, I was just about to do my movement and end the turn. Before I did that, I had a look around just to see uh, the state of things. And something I noticed over here has uh, caused me a bit of an alarm. Uh, there's actually a merchant in Venice right next to Zurich, one of my city-states. So they're probably going to switch that over to uh, a Venetian city next turn if I don't act on that. So my thoughts about when I was planning on declaring on Venice may have been answered by that. I think I might have to declare war now. Um, also I noticed that there's a great piece of writing in Istanbul. I think that was moved there when I took Madrid. So I probably don't want it there since it's a puppet. So I'll put that into... Um, where am I putting it? Utrecht? It's a good place as anywhere, I guess. So, I think even if I was to declare war on Venice, I'm not sure if they could use that still or not next turn. I'm not sure they've got the movement points to uh, stop that from getting into their territory and flip them over. Um... I think maybe I should try, but I think I might get the backstab thin now, that's the problem. So I need to uh, basically get people into a war against Venice, I believe. So I've got to look through all of these and try and get them to declare war. So I'm going to do that now, I think. Okay, I've gone through all of the sieves to see if they will uh, declare war on Venice for money. None of them will, except for England, which is uh, no real surprise. So what I think I'm going to do is just get uh, England to declare war on them. I'm probably going to use the Disgust feature. I'm a bit worried here that that knight might rush in and nick Madrid. I don't think it's got enough strength, actually. But um, their troops coming down here and Spain's at the same time is going to cause problems, definitely. Uh, right, so let's ask England if she wants Hello a war against Mad uh, Venice. Go on. So, shall we declare war against uh, Enrico Dandolo? Yeah, she said yes. Okay. She's a real nutcase, she is. Um, right, so you can see there, you made a promise with other civs to move your troops from their borders and then broke it. So that counted from, I don't know, five, ten turns ago. Which is what I was worried about. So, well, everyone hates me apart from England. Hopefully that doesn't affect my relations with England too badly, though. Um... Right, they only had one city-state left, that was Laza, which is up there, is it? Uh, no, wrong one. That one. I might need to uh, bring a sea beggar up there just to see what's going on over there. Um, so deals with Enrico ran out. Uh, Elizabeth is now at war with them. Now, I should go around and ask everyone if they want to uh, declare war on Venice again. By the discussion method, probably. Um, 
I'm not expecting Come anything on. to say yes. Selam, lad. Uh, I didn't check this before with these. I just did ask them if they uh, do it for money. Uh, do that. And can't ask Spain. So what do? Uh, should we declare war against the Dolo? Uh, should we declare war against the Dolo? Maybe cheap and well. Let's check that. Out. They probably all say no again, so that's so I'm not going to go through them all. Right. So I've got a bit of movement to uh, attack what's left of the uh, Venetian fleets around here. There's a caravel up there. That's this privateer. One, two, three, four, five, six. This, that's in range. That's probably the only thing in range. I probably don't want to um, use my privateer, or do I? Uh, Admiral, I mean. What am I going to attack that with as well? I've got a frigate spear. Um, I could bring that into range of the cannon and shoot it. Might do that. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's a full movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to be next to that cannon. I'm going to have to move that unit as well. I could attack that with that unit actually. I think I might twice. Uh, is that right? That admiral can move forward one tile. Let's attack that there. And attack it again. Right now, get it back towards my territory. Okay. Uh, that frigate. Can move to there. Got a great general over there. Let's tank that. And this privateer can move to there. Right, so that gets me a flanking bonus along with this unit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's really damaged. Right, my ironclad, I should probably bring there to protect those um, sea beggars. That one's pretty good shape as well. I'll bring that up to there. Anything else? Right, my caravels, I can bring those up and upgrade them in a bit. That's why I'm glad when I can afford it. Just not quite yet, really. Um, that can go to there, go to there, go there, and I think that's it for the turn, I'm not sure, I should check near to here, actually I've got some ships, are there any Venetians around here? Nope, right, so next turn. England may backstab me at some point now. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? I'm gonna turn that down. They can't like me very much, even though we're friends, because I've just been uh, killing everyone. Okay. They're plotting against Gandhi. I'll let Gandhi know about that. Uh, Right, sea beggar. That can take boarding party. I could repair it quicker. I'm tempted, but no. Gems. I meant to use a golden age and forgot. Let's uh, do that. Right. Uh, oh, brilliant. Bratislava finally went Protestant. Took his time. Okay, so there's a ship there, there's a knight there. It looks like Spain have backed off for the units, that's great. That's, oh, there's a road here I can uh, use. I definitely need to get a couple of workers over here, so I probably want to make some at Nijmegen or buy some there. Um, 
Let's move that to there. Okay. Move to there. And that one can heal up, I think. I'll use right my frigates got shot a bit at some point. I think I'll just shoot that there. Okay. Uh production. Uh they've made a cargo ship. I have no idea what I'm making here. I'll put that as a placement holder. Um Right, so there's caravel there. I've got frigates. I can't bring them within two of uh Amati. Now England's at war with Venice as well, that's gonna help. Let's tank there. And one, two, three, four. Should I use that one? Yeah, why not? Captured, nice. One, two, three. Sadly, it doesn't have range to get back to my territory, though. Um, right, so I should bring this up here. See if there's any Venetian or Larsen ships. There we go, found one. One, two, three. Uh, right, let's have a look around Wellington with this cargo. Uh, let's bring it to there. Grab cargo later, that can chop down the forest there. I probably want to start some archaeologists here actually. I use one to nick that and one to nick that. Uh, let's change to archaeologists. Uh, no sign of Phoenician forces over here. Um, ooh, sea merch. Uh, Venice, Finney. Right, I've got quite a privateer fleet over there. Let's uh, bring this up here. my caravel up here as well. Oops. Uh, I think I'll keep that one around there. That's what's left. Uh, right, that can make a farm. That can make hold in a minute. That can make some trading posts in a minute. Okay. Uh, general should be safe there now. Okay. Uh, let's. Privateer. Let's bring it up to Venice. Venice, how easy is that going to be to take? Well, its strength is a problem, but it, I can get to it relatively easy-ish, I think. Um, right, let's come up here. Okay. I don't know how much it costs for a sea beggar to upgrade to a destroyer. It's probably like 400 odd gold, so I really need to save a heck of a lot now. Um, it's just, uh, ironclad can come up here. Uh, it's a bit of a problem with my ironclads, actually. They're not going to be able to repair up here, are they? Uh, I don't have supply with those. I can go on heal. I can go on heal. Right, I think I'll figure out the rest of my movement and where I'm going to 
put that cargo ship. Okay, I've moved a few of my ships around. The trade route that I'm gonna do is to from Amsterdam to Kabul. I uh, probably don't want to trade with England, and that's okay, money-ish. Uh, so I need to uh, change home city to Amsterdam. And I've got this night unit, which I'm gonna bring up here, hopefully to find Seville. Um, how much movement to go left? Right there. Right, brilliant. Wow, India's got quite a bit of military units. I'm really hoping that England and uh, India can take down Seville. That'll make things so much easier for culture wins. Right, so I think uh, that's it for this turn, and I think I'm going to call that it for this video as well. Uh, probably been over half an hour ish. I'll try and get more turns in next uh, video. There's a lot to do in this one, though. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.